I can be by you all the time, but you're on my mind. You see, that you are one of the special, incredible people in my life. I know I'm gonna make you. Yo, what it do? It's your boy ATZ King, and I'm back on your screen. Hope everybody has a great, blessed one day. Um, I'm right here in bed. And it freaking sucks because it's hard for me to get out of this bed. And this right here, it looks like a fruity loop. They actually gave me this in the hospital because it's to try to help my neck. Because my they said my neck will be really sore and hurting. And it is freaking sore as crap. So it's always on my back. It's really sore. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... Um, that sucks, and it kind of sucks because <sighs> I'm actually at home by myself because, like, my mom went to the school with my little brother and stuff. And actually, this morning she came in here, and I needed her help because I couldn't lift myself up, and I had to go, you know, I had to go to the restroom and stuff. I had to go to the pit, so it was pretty freaking hard for me to do it to get up by myself, so, you know what I'm saying, right now, I actually just took my medicines, one of my pay pills, uh, like I said, the most they work for is, like, about at least, just maybe an hour, and that's it, then plus I've been taking my inhaler, I've been taking my aspirin, I've been taking, uh, Tynalox, I've been running fever, I've been running fever since uh, Saturday. I was running fever yesterday, and right now I started running fever. So I'm like, damn. Um, this surgery got me really, really good. Like I said, though, um, to me, I feel like this one was worse than the first one. And I can only imagine what the third one is going to bring. So I'm just like, damn. <laughs> like, real talk. Um, and like I said, I posted it in yesterday's clip. I didn't want to show, like, I showed y'all, but I didn't want to, like, have the camera just, like, forced on there, like, for at least, like, maybe, what, two, three minutes or so, because a lot of people I know don't like seeing that kind of stuff. And um, I wanted to do the, you know, before, how it looked before and after. But even the before, look, it's, it's fucking gross, too, so... I'll probably in the future I might do it or once I get the third one then I might do it or whatever but I just don't want to gross anybody out and I didn't know either if YouTube because YouTube is so damn strict right now so I didn't know they would end up probably trying to take it off or make it age, age restricted like I didn't know you know um but I just wanted y'all to see so y'all can know that I'm not bullcrapping with y'all that I'm being for real when I say I'm in pain and that I had surgery because there ain't no need for me to lie to y'all and tell y'all, oh yeah, I'm going to have surgery and I didn't. It kept getting postponed and postponed because of my insurance and my insurance wasn't within the network. So then they're like, you know, you had to pay. So I had to come up with a thousand dollars, actually two thousand dollars, but they said they could do it if I had one thousand dollars. So I came up with the one thousand dollars. Shout out to my pastor who was kind and general enough to actually give me the thousand dollars and uh yeah you know what i'm saying so that's why i wanted to share that with y'all and i wanted y'all to see it the same time i saw it like of course y'all saw it a little bit late because the video was uploaded later but we actually saw it together because i was actually filming it i didn't see it really before or none of that. I didn't know how it. I I just knew. I knew this one had the stitches already because I had kind of like pulled the thing to see. But this one, I knew where it was blood, but I didn't know exactly how it really looked. I could just see that it was really swollen and red. Um, and like I said, on this side, I had liposuction, and then they had to give me all them injections. So all them little holes that y'all y'all saw, those were actually injections that they gave me to try to help. Um from feeling so much pain but that was just gonna last four days so by tomorrow i'm kind of screwed because 
by tomorrow that numbness that they that they shot up in there is actually gonna go away and i'm actually kind of feeling it worse right now already because they said it would just last four days so they gave them to me friday saturday sunday monday so yeah by tomorrow that i should probably be feeling it worse then it sucks because my pills i'm already almost out and i have no refills so I'm going to have to wait until I go back to the doctor on the 16th. Uh, I, and it's just crazy. The doctors didn't want me working for six weeks because that's how long it takes to recuperate. But I really don't know what the hell is going to go down. So, yeah. Anyways, though. I will see y'all back in a bit, though. Because... I'm about to get ready probably to go shower because I feel nasty. Uh, yesterday was my first time showering because they said I couldn't shower for 48 hours. Um, and it, the reason was like for like to try to let the stitches stick on their right and stuff because like the stitches that I have, like the ones that y'all saw on this side, those are stitches. And the ones that y'all saw over here, that's stitches too. And they're melted stitches. They're going to come off on its own. But they didn't want me like to wet them right away, so... And they told me to wait 48 hours, so that's what I did. But everybody who knows me knows I take at least, like, fucking three baths a day. And it's been crazy not to do that. But anyway, so... I, and, of course, today I'm not going to school as much as I would love to go. But I'm in too much pain to walk down the damn street. And then my medicine has me so drowsy. So my butt is just going to stay home. And, yeah, so I'll see you in a bit, though. Cheers. shower kind of what's the pussy you know because i did take my medicine and yes i'm gonna feel it so my face looks all red so i have to decide to hurry up and jump in the shower um and i had to switch my thing off another one i already had like two more of these because i had surgery on my stomach 2017 so they had gave me those, but this one's a large and that one's a medium, so I'm at the both of them because this one, as you can tell, it has all the nasty shit on it. But I'll catch on a bit though. Shoot. Yeah, is not to give breast cancer and it sucks yo what's up what's good fam i'm getting ready to bounce i'm gonna go with one of my one of my boys from work well he's not he's a man i'm gonna go with him we're gonna go do some some stuff. I don't even know what we're gonna do actually. I think he said something about going to Arlington. I'm kind of out of it because I'm on fucking medication, so I really don't know what the hell he said. I just said, yeah, all right, that's cool. No, I'm not a gangster. I have this bandana on my head because I have a huge freaking headache. And ever since I was a kid, I would always put bandanas on me. I have a whole collection of bandanas, different colors. Like I say, I like all the damn colors, so I don't discriminate really on no color. Um, but I have this bandana on my head right now. I'm gonna take it off right now when I leave, though, because you know, I don't want to wear like that. This nigga's gangster. But I just have it on my head right now because my head's hurting really bad. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would let y'all know that I'm about to be leaving in a minute, so yeah. But I'll see y'all back in a bit, though. Chill. What's up, fam? Finally made it home. I just went with one of my co workers. Uh, we went to go pick up his um place for his car and. Damn, I'm in a fucking lot of pain, though. I even had to take my fully loop. This is my fully loop. This is for my for my neck. Uh, shit. Um, I'm in a shitload of pain, though, guys. But, uh, 
Anyway, so I'm about to head up to my room because I'm in my actual living room right now. Um, I'm in the living room, so I'm about to head up to my room. Um, and I'm about to go and lay down and knock out, so I'll catch on a bit, though. Chill. Yo, what's up? What is the squad? Um, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Literally, my numbers are just racing up, and I really appreciate it each and every one of you from whoever's channel you're coming from i really 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 do appreciate it um this is one hectic journey for me that i'm on right now it's the most painful is one and i'm sorry if i look like crap but i literally just took a medication but hold on guys damn i gotta take my other one hold on really quick yeah, I took one medication right now at four, but it's already five, and I have to take this other one. And it's funny, I had a water with me when I went um, with my coworker to get his place, but I actually left it in his car. And for those of you that know me, I hate water. Wow. And I'm really picky when I drink water, bro, and I can't be picky because I ain't got money to be buying water, the water that I like, so I have to just go with the flow. But of course, I have to have my Coke. <sighs> yeah, guys, Um, for those of you that are brand new to my channel, I had surgery on Friday. Let's, let's backtrack real fast. I had surgery on February the 11th. Um... Like I said, it was a big old thing that I had to really decide. I have Lynch syndrome. I run high risk for cancer. A lot of people get it confused and they think that I have cancer. No, I don't have cancer. I run high, high risk for cancer. When I mean high risk, this is high risk and this is low risk. I'm up here. So I have to do anything in my power that could be out of my body that I, I will no longer get the can I will no, will no ever no not ever get the cancer yeah not ever get the cancer so I have to make these decisions and these decisions are not easy decisions because at the end of the day look what I'm going through I had one surgery it could have went fine but it didn't go fine I had this surgery this surgery right now is just like shit it's killing me these cuts these wounds just it just ain't happening this is my fully loop this is from my head i literally had to sleep with this on my head because my neck is messed up they actually gave me this in the hospital uh that shit kind of looks weird i'm just gonna put it right here for right now literally guys like it's so painful i can't even lay down on my bed normal in any kind of way any position because it freaking hurts um so yeah, like I said, you know, I had surgery February the 11th. That surgery didn't come out right. I had surgery. I had breast removal because breast cancer runs in my family. Look, to all my dudes, if you're a dude, don't be scared if you have breast cancer, man. It's going to be all right. And I'm telling you, it's going to be all right because look at me. Yeah, I'm in pain. Yeah, I'm in hurt. I'm hurting. Yeah, I freaking break down and cry. But at the end of the day, we're only human, man. Just because we cry doesn't mean we're less of a man. Just because we get surgery for that doesn't mean we're less of a man. It just means we're vulnerable to overcome an obstacle. Like I say, you know, y'all y'all seen y'all seen the incisions. It ain't it ain't no joke. It ain't no it ain't no pretty game. A lot of people were asking, why does this have a stripe? This has a stripe. This my right side right here. My right side right here. This one has a. Well, I can't show y'all. Um, well, I can show y'all. Yeah, I can show y'all. It has that that stitches right there, guys. I lost that nipple. And am I sad about it? Yes, I'm sad about it. But it's not gonna be the end of the world. So I, I, my third surgery is gonna be to either we're gonna get it, we're gonna make a replacement or they're gonna either tattoo it on me. 
I'm probably gonna go with the tattoo on me because the tattoo nipple because if I get a replacement like well they try to do it with my own skin worst case scenario it cannot survive again and it's just gonna be repeating the same damn surgery so I think honestly I'm just gonna go with getting a tattoo but I have to wait for it to close to heal so that'll probably be like in two more months or three more months till I get that tattooed on me um is it something hard to deal with? I'm not gonna lie. It's hard. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. It's painful and it's hard. Anybody could be like, oh, that's not painful, this and this and that. Da da da. Trust me. It is painful. And for me to hear from a woman who is a doctor and said herself that it is more pain. Getting breast removal for either if you're a man or a woman is more painful than being in labor. When I heard that shit, I just said, oh, hell no, like game over, you know what I mean? I am like, I thought they said the, the worst is painful and this thing could be a woman, you know, going into labor. Cancer or having the high risk to get cancer is no joke. So I suggest if y'all have anybody in your family that has cancer, Go get checked because literally you could do that test. And if you live in Texas, if you live in Dallas especially, you could go to U UT Southwestern and they always have funds where they do it there and they won't charge you a penny. And it'll let you know whether you have Lynn syndrome or whether you have cancer. And everybody's scared nobody wants to ever find out if they have cancer or not but it's for your own good you know what i'm saying um i was literally debating like nah, i don't want to go i don't want to go the only reason i went because like i said four of my aunts passed away two of my uncles passed away two cousins passed away my dad is a cancer survivor and my grandma is a breast cancer survivor so i said to myself man should I get this test done or should I just be like, eh, thug life. If I get it, I get it. It is what it is. But then I play smart and I'm like, you know what? Let me find out if I have the syndrome. Because if I have the syndrome, I have more opportunities to prevent from actually getting the shit. That's what I did. June the 17th, 2016, I got the call. Burst down, broke down, cry. My um, nurse, um... Nicole Brown, she called me and she's like, you know what? I'm sorry to tell you, but your test came back, da da da, and you got Lynn syndrome. My whole world just turned upside down, guys. I'm like, damn it, damn it, damn it. I started crying. I started going crazy. And yeah, a lot of people could be like, why are you going crazy, bro? It's just the syndrome. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's a high risk of cancer that you could get. And you could get it in your skin. You can get it in your brain. I, I'm at high risk even getting it in my colon. Breast, anything. It's high risk for a lot of stuff. So it's like, I, re I was like, you know what? I'd rather been safe than sorry. So I'm glad I did it. But at the end of the day, it's painful. But what can else can what else can we do? You got to go through the pain just to get yourself out the gutter. And it sucks so right now. I'm in. I'm. Pain, I'm in. I'm sore. I'm. I'm in a little pain. Like, literally, I was with. I was with my coworker. We went all the way to Arlington to pick up his plaques for his car. We were literally jamming, and I, this is literally me in the car. I kept dozing off. Like, what the heck? It was just me and him, and we we're jamming out. We we're jamming out to Drake and Eminem, and like all these other songs. And I'm just literally like, and then I see Six Flags, and I'm like. Hey, we're going to Six Flags. And he just looked at me like, what? And I was just like, oh, no, I'm in Six Flags. And then, so we passed up a little bit. So then I'm like, oh, she looked the black hole. I remember going in that when I was a kid. Because I used to go to, I used to go to Hurricane Harbor a lot when I was younger. And I'm like, oh, I remember going in that. And then he just looking at me like, like, bro, is you all right? And he's just like, this medication just be having you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But... You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's hard. It's hard going through this stuff. And then it kind of sucks when you don't have a support system, like I said, you know. 
like especially the people that you think that will really be there for you and they're not there for you like it kind of it's hurtful and it's painful and it sucks because you know if it would be them in your shoes you know you would be there for them no matter what they've done to you you know you would be there for them so that's what's kind of painful and hurtful but at the end of the day like it is what it is you know um but yeah i'm just like damn but anyways so guys i'm about to just chill right here and sit down on this chair for a while because i've been on the bed so i'm just gonna chill watch some youtube videos and i'll catch y'all back in a bit though so i hope y'all having a great day and i'll see y'all in a bit chill yo what's up what it do squad um i'm just right here chilling uh in my room uh i try to um of course I ate, but before I ate, uh, no, actually I think it was after I ate, I was, um, cleaning up my, my space over here where I have my clothes, like, it was already all stumbling and stuff, so, I was doing that, but, uh, I've been running fever on and off, so, I may have to take any pills for that, and like I said, I'm in a, I'm in a lot of pain, but, I have to take a pill right now, like at 10, and then my other one at 12. Um, otherwise, I'm just chilling watching the um, the game Warriors versus Houston. And it's really pissing me off, the game. But, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Because I'm i a Warriors. I go for the Warriors. I'm a Warriors fan, so... I just feel like right now it's just fucking, you know, I don't know. It's just like I feel like they're calling fouls when it's like not even. And then when they foul us, it's like we don't even get the damn foul. So it's just pissing me off. So. And then too, what I've been doing, I've been uh, listening to like music that I used to listen to like back in, back in like since 2000 and fucking, you could say it was 2000 and music from like 2009 all the way through like 2000 the beginning of 2016 like say for instance from um june june of 2016 all the way through 2009 i've been um i've been uh, listening to music that i used to listen to a lot back in the day and just trying to clear my mind out and stuff and try not to think about this pain uh but I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Like I said earlier, I it half a time it'll sometimes it'll tell me who subscribes, but right now it hasn't been telling me who's subscribing. But if you want a shout out, just put your name down below, and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's video. Oh shit! <laughs> my bad. It's cause this damn tripod thing is kind of. Uh, let me just hold it. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh. If you want a shout out, just comment below and I'll give you a shout out. But I appreciate everybody who's new. I've been noticing it because I noticed my numbers been going up. And I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Like I said, from whoever's channel you're coming from, I really, really do appreciate that. It means a lot to me. And like I said, you know, there will be hard times like you got to go through in life sometimes, but don't be scared to face them because at the end of the day, it's part of life, it's reality. And, you know, just stay close to your loved ones because today ain't promised, neither is tomorrow. One day we're here, the next minute we could be gone. So just appreciate life in general. It's not about YOLO. It's not about, oh yeah, I, c I couldn't die tomorrow. Let me go to the club. It's nothing like that. You got to learn how to live your life right. And because the day of judgment day, when judgment day comes, you're going to wish you would have lived more for Jesus and to live for the devil. And at the end of the day, though, it is what it is. This is your pick at the end of the day. So, yeah, but uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Join the squad, join the team. And for everybody who asks... If I have a Snapchat, yes, I have a Snapchat, I have a Facebook, I have an Instagram. I have, yeah, I said Facebook, I believe. But I really don't mess with Facebook, guys. Like, I really don't mess with Facebook. Um, 
I used to be a lot active on Instagram. Like, every day I would post a picture, but it's rare now whenever I post a picture. I'm more active, like, on Snapchat and stuff, but, um, and, of course, you know, on TikTok and, you know, posting my videos for YouTube. If somebody asks me, do I get paid? No, I do not get paid on YouTube because at the end of the day, I only have like 300 and I think now 48 subscribers. And get to have so many subscribers in order to put advertisements so you can get paid. So, no, I do not get paid, guys. I do this as a, as a hobby. I enjoy doing it, and that's just what I do. I started doing it, putting out my music and stuff, but I do have a SoundCloud as well. And I am going to be dropping some new music soon. Um, my new music is basically me talking to God, and so yeah, but if you're interested in listening to my music, I do have a SoundCloud, and I believe it's MTZ King, it's probably just MTZ King, or not MTZ King 4, um, so if you're interested in my music, I do got a few songs on there, a few tracks on there, and nobody wrote that for me, that came out out for me, of course I got the beats from YouTube, but the actual the lyrics and everything is all me nobody else um so yeah but like i said don't forget to like comment share subscribe join the team join the squad and i appreciate every new subscriber from the bottom of my heart and i appreciate all my subscribers that have been subscribing since day one that have been rocking with me since day one i appreciate all y'all and i will see y'all tomorrow and remember, if you're drinking, don't drive. Get designated driver. And I'm out. Shoot.